Slack attack. Okay, here we go for the big gun battle, and I'm going to go with Trevor pretty much all the way. I hope we got a full grenade launcher, because I'm just going to spam those grenades out there. This is the best way to take care of all these guys. Try to hit the vehicles as they're coming in. Check that out, that was beautiful. And it seems to take care of those two vehicles coming in, I just go racing off to the left and get ready for some more guys. So nice, nice blow up shit there. The vehicle comes in here, so you can just ambush him. And I always completely ignore suggestions to switch. What I do pay attention to is um, the switcheroo circle there. If somebody's character icon appears in red, then that means they're close to death. And basically I just go running back and cover these guys. And I stick with the grenade launcher all the way until I run out of grenades, which is about to happen. Now, now you see Franklin is suffering a little bit. He's in the red. So I'm going to cover him. So now out comes the minigun. There's Franklin right there, so it's no big deal. He's in cover, you know? There's a health pack right there. Didn't notice that. So now, um, I handle the minigun with Trevor until I run out of gas in the tank. Which is essentially when Trevor, Trevor's health gets really low. And at this point there's always some snipers up on the overpass there, so you make sure you get them. I thought I got all of them, but I didn't. And one of them kept chipping away at me. So there's still one up there, that's why I got pretty low on the health with Trevor. Took it right down to the wire here, and I finally realized, oh yeah, there's a sniper still up there. They can do a lot of damage. There he is right there. So now I've pretty much run out of gas in the tank for Trevor, so I'm going to switch over to Mike, or Franklin rather. There you go. Not too many guys left. Just pick up all the scragglers. And that is it. We survived. So much for the bulletless revolution. And we always get fucked with. You now comes a big car chase. Everyone else in your cars, we leave while we can. Hey, what's stopping me from riding off into the sunset, huh? With my saddle bags of bolts. Lester's the only guy who can flip metal without making a noise, dipshit. You wanna try? Be my guest. Alright! Lead the way. Okay, we got a whopping 5 star wanted level. You're playing as Franklin, so you have the benefit of his special ability. Pretty much it just you kick in the special ability every time I corner and then kick it out to save it on the special ability. Because near the end of this chase, you want to have at least some left in, special, in Franklin's special ability meter for the last little bit, which will be very important. It's kind of tricky. If you play well, you'll actually catch up to your those vehicles quite often, as I just did there, and I kind of bumped into the back of them and threw me off. Now I'm like really worried about you know losing losing them. And so are they. You can catch up pretty easy. 
So now we go jamming through the Rockford Plaza, and there's a stunt jump here. I wish they handled all stunt jumps in the game the way they handle this. Just, you know, none of that panoramic view crap. <laughs> Just let you take the stunt jump and keep the chase cam right behind the vehicle as normal. Would have found that a lot more fun. Once again, I almost caught up to those guys. Okay, so I'm driving without the special ability to build up the meter. Because here's the most important part right here. You gotta drive your car up into the back of the truck. A la Italian job. Kicking your special ability should be no problem. And that is it. If you made it this far, you beat the mission. I don't see the vehicle. Okay, seal the tunnel and get a ground team in there stat. Take care of the metal. meeting us at my place. All right, so now it's time for the long drive back to Michael's place. I believe you're required to follow the GPS route. Uh, there was another mission very similar to this, and I went off the GPS route and I failed the mission. I didn't test that with this mission, but I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. Let's just follow the GPS route. And of course, um, they're going to start blathering away. So I'll see you on the flip side when they stop talking. Hang on, we're we're just leaving the goal. Yepper. Hundreds of millions of dollars worth of gold. Hey, T, have a little faith. What? <laughs> faith? In you, buddy? All right, in Lester, in the process. Come on, we've been through it a million times. Any fool can take a score. It's getting away clean that makes the difference between those who walk free and those who do not. <laughs> Man, I wouldn't know what to do with that shit. I'm guessing you wouldn't either, man. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I, I just have some trusting issues right now, Franklin. If we get away with this, if, and it's a big if, man, then I can finally really retire. Watch it, Frank. Michael likes to retire with a very interesting exit strategy. Come on, man. I mean, we just took the biggest score in the history of scores, and you bitches just want to moan. My mama never loved me. My friends never loved me. I'm mad because I'm rich. I'm sad because I'm successful. Man, this shit is pathetic, both of you. Oh, I am so sorry. Hey, we did it, assholes. We did it. And here, I'm pretty astonished that the game finally shut up while you're still on a mission and you're driving back to the final destination. I couldn't believe it. I kept waiting for them to kick in again with another, you know, big long conversation about whatever. And they never did. <laughs> Phew! So only two more videos in this walkthrough. Actually, there's only one more video in the walkthrough and then my uh, review video, as I mentioned in the previous video. I, I am going to do one of my traditional end credits roll review of Grand Theft Auto 5. Once again, it ain't going to be pretty, so if you love this game, um, fair warning. <laughs> In case you're not aware, a new walkthrough has started on my blind playthrough channel, Peewee Pie. I am playing Pillars of Eternity, classic RPG uh, that came out just recently, in, it was released in March 26th of this year, and I absolutely love this game, I love it. Check it out.
and we are here. Sorry, I didn't mean that. Let's just walk away. <laughs> and time for another big cutscene, and I'll see you on the flip side. Gentlemen, uh, Lester, we have just made history. Ah, uh, I don't want to ask a dumb question here, but where's the metal? I've got it on lockdown for a few days while I'm waiting for the go-ahead to melt it and move it. Where? Where? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Where is just the point? Let's say somebody gets pinched. Well, then where is the evidence? Or if anyone gets any silly ideas, then they'll just be futile. So we can take it easy, knowing that uh, it's going to be a few days before Judas here shows his true colors. Really? Now? Yeah. Now, sugar. Why don't you take a moment while you're sitting on that big fat pile of cash to chill the fuck out and realize what's done is done? Whatever you say. Well, this is a good time. Let's this fucking fuck, 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 fuck you. you, man! Hey, 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 hey! God. For a couple of Midwest stick-up artists, you guys sure have become a pair of whiny West Coast douchebags! What the fuck is wrong with the West Coast? Oh, nothing. I love it here. Everyone's so numbed by the sun that if you use a three-syllable word, they think you're a professor. Man, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you, you high and mighty weasel! And you don't talk down them to these fucking idiots! Hey! Leave Lester alone! Oh! Oh, you and Lester together? Oh, now that makes fucking sense! Oh, for fuck's sake, man! You all are assholes! Man, I gotta go calm down, homie. This shit was real illuminating. Franklin, I'm sorry. Come on back, have a beer or something. Boy, a heist passed. Yeah. Made a whack ton of cash, but then it's the end of the game, so whatever. And I would like to thank you all very much for watching. And if you thought this video was remotely entertaining, hey, don't forget to give the old slacks or a thumbs. Uh, yeah. Alright, see you next video.